This announcement is going to be brought up in every single episode of Stranger Things. Whether or not if you're a fan of my channel, I just want to let those of you who are watching this reaction know that I have many more planned. On screen, you can see a small fraction of some of the reactions I have planned between movies and series that have already aired. But any new shows that will drop later on, such as the House of Dragon series and The Last of Us, for example, are still things I'm going to react to outside of this list. So if any of these catch your eye, be sure to come swing by as these reactions and many more are going to be dropping throughout the year and in the future. And as I mentioned, there will be unlisted slash surprise ones, so we will just have to wait on that. How's it going, folks? It's Sobo, and welcome back to the channel, and I'm back with more Stranger Things. This is episode three, and you can find the previous episodes in the description in my reaction playlist if you're interested in that, if you're not already caught up. But right now, we are here for episode three, and I'm very excited to get started. I went and I had my lunch, and now I'm ready to continue the Stranger Things marathon, but I don't know if I'm going to watch any more episodes today. So far, this would be the third, and I have to edit all these damn things, and it's going to take a long time, but I think this might be the last one I'm going to watch for today, or maybe I'll do a fourth one. I don't know. We'll have to see how this episode goes, but I'm very excited, and without further delay, whose house is this? Nevada. Dr. Owens. Oh, it's a helicopter. The way they shot that, it, it, ma it made me think I was watching a movie when they do sort of, they back away and it's actually a movie playing and it was like an alien invasion type of movie, but no, it's just a helicopter for Dr. Owens. Does this remind you of anything, Doctor? No, it doesn't. Because it's men of science, men like you who created this problem in the first place. <laughs> Damn. It's not wrong, though. Is impossible. Is it? Eleven is dead. I'm not convinced. So where has she been? All this time? There are rumors she's alive. We can do this the hard way. I mean, even if they get her, she lost her abilities. What the hell, man? Just leave her alone. Those are Peter's old school projects. You do not need those. Hey, I'm talking to you! So much for the government being the saviors. The monster and the superhero. Bob Newby, superhero, remember? Like, is she gonna be in trouble for this? Is this considered assault? Back in the day, they were way more lenient when it came to bullying, physical fights and shit, so. I don't think she'll be in any trouble. Maybe with school, but. That nose would have been sliced clean off. Ah, ah, it could have been so much worse. So much worse. <laughs> Uh, it's definitely Murray's music. Because he uses it to think. Aren't you a lot of sight for sore eyes, huh? Hi, Murray. The kids like risotto? Small world, isn't it? Mm. It's a small world. So I thought, hey. They're not telling them the truth. Why don't I drop in and say hello to my old friend? What business friend? Ooh. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to tell you guys. This <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan, this means you're going to have to, you know, take charge while I'm gone. Wait. What? <laughs> <laughs> Drew in Alaska? Man's gone right now. In Alaska. The anyway, she yeah. she looks like she's gonna be fine. She's totally fine. She didn't look fine. What a tense dinner. What's going on, you guys? Everybody's lying to each other. What have you done? Now, is this Hawkins or is this California? I'm going to assume it's Hawkins. <laughs> Whose house is this? Why is he just chilling in like a haunted mansion? <laughs> it's kind of weird, but something about his face looks familiar. Like, I feel like I've seen this face before. Isn't that weird? Nice. And we're not killers like Eddie. And we just want to talk to him. Get him to admit his crime. Yeah, a little friendly neighborhood chat. I want to help. All right. Ah, uh, peer pressure. I'm pretty convinced you killed Chrissy. Like, 100% kind of convinced. And the good news? 
Your name hasn't gone public yet, I think before. I mean, they have a, a few times and, and I have once. Mine was more human flesh based and theirs was more smoke related. There's, there's nothing to worry about. Tarp. Besides that, oh, they're gonna look under that tarp. He should go in the water. Oh, it's for Fred. Jesus, man. They they did a great job with the design of that. Welcome to Victor Creel. Sorry, what's that? Victor Creel. Victor's locked away tight, hon. You don't need to worry about him, all right? Tweeler. He was by the picnic table. Is that correct? Ah. Uh... Miss Tweeler. I can't get over how nice of a house that uh, Joyce has now. It's awesome. Good for her. 4 p.m. showing of Police Academy 3. She's not eating her egos. I am different. I do not belong. Come on, you, you can't actually believe that. Everyone looks at me like... Like I'm a monster. I, I care for you so much but you don't you don't love me anymore who who said that i didn't you never say it you can't even write it mike from mike from mike from mike from mike from okay okay okay, from. okay okay i love you you're being ridiculous what like what is this you you know what i think of you you're the most incredible person in the world and you can't let these mouth breathers ruin you they're nobodies and you're a superhero. Not anymore. Damn. That was a nice little speech he did. That happened last night involving Jane at the Wrinkle Mania. That was an accident. We have a warrant here that says otherwise. A warrant? A warrant? You have the right to remain silent. No way. I thought the 80s was so much more chill than that, though. Or what if they're with the government and they actually want her? Everything's gonna be fine. I am going to fix this. Okay, just, just stay calm. And I feel so bad for her. Has mom slightly left yet? <sighs> Too late for that. Do you think I should have just told them? Should have told Elle. Food, smoke some ganja, pound some beers, experiment sexually. I mean, really, what's the worst that can happen? Yeah, this is the segment from the trailer. <laughs> oh, he's learning Russian. They definitely set this up so they could speak alone. Your Russian is getting better. So is your acting. Right, come on, what is it? If my pilot gets the money. He will bring it to me in his plane tomorrow. Then you can hitch a ride with him back to your country. And sound too good to be true, yes? It does. Cigarettes, peanut butter, playboys. Peanut butter? Where do you want it? He's got to hit him. Yep. Now, whether or not he's doing the bidding of the Mind Flayer or just loves killing teens, we don't know. All we know is that this is something different. Someone stronger. They were both at the game. And near the trailer park. We're at the trailer park. Uh, yeah. should we maybe not be here? <laughs> Vec man. Vec not. I don't know about you guys, but if I saw some freaky wizard monster, I would mention it to someone. If you saw a monster, you, you wouldn't go to the police. They'd never believe you. But you might go to your... Your shrink. They're so smart. Like, everyone on this show is so intelligent. I can drive. No, no. Never again. Please. Anybody but you, no. <laughs> no chance. Wipe your feet. On the outside, not the inside. <laughs> you did it on the inside. Kind of looks like a... The crack. Oh, it's growing. It's like a... It's like a web. He's surfing the internet. <laughs> Please. I'll just tell them I fell again. I slipped. In accidents. Working theory, but I'm going to mention more in depth later on. But I think 
everyone who has some form of psychological trauma is being affected. That's a guess by mine right now. They try to recruit me to their club, cult. Lucas, what the hell? We're just trying to find Eddie, man. I don't know! Well, maybe the cops should arrest this dude. Where do we find this? Dustin. Lucas, what did you get yourself into? I don't know. She didn't know if you wanted to kill her. These dudes have no idea how many bodies she's dropped. Hopper. Okay, yes, I see. This is fucking crazy, man. It means they're putting her in the system, after which point she'll be transferred to juvenile hall. Oh no, she's gonna be in the system. For juveniles. That's jail. Hey, hey, look, Juvie? Is there any chance we can just- What? Are you kidding? That is ridiculous. That's the law. And you're not gonna change it complaining to me. You wanna see Jane? Find your mother. The government's gonna find her now. She's in the damn system. Mike, what were you gonna do there? You and your husband have exciting plans. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Ugh. What is that? Yeah. Dumb bio. It's so pleasure. He wants him to break his chain. Aren't the guards gonna notice that though? Where's he hit? Oh, his leg. <laughs> oh, God, man. Hopper is such a fucking beast. Victor Creel, like 70 years old. Yep. So he's a grandpa murderer. Uh, are you implying that I still have a thing for Nance? No, I'm not implying it. I'm you're stating, and as always, <laughs> I'll punch you so hard in your face that your teeth will fall back out. Oh, too far. Not cool. Sorry. Not cool. Oh, they're the best duo. Max, you know I can't talk about Chrissy or any other student. Yeah, but I mean, what if there was a serial killer on the loose in my neighborhood? I most definitely would. Well, let's leave that up to the police, shall we? You're right. Can I use the bathroom? Sure. Up the stairs to the left. What does she think she's gonna find? Steal her files? I mean, this is her desk right there. She probably keeps them there. Or break into her office in school. Yeah. What'd she say? Nothing, but just drive. Nothing. Steve, drive! Okay. Yeah, Lucas stepped. Where the hell is Sinclair? Dustin, where you been? Just listen. Are you guys looking for Eddie? Yeah, and we found him, no thanks to you. You found him? He's at a boathouse, Uncle. Don't tell him! Then why do all the cops say he did it? Lucas, you're so behind, it's ridiculous, okay? Just meet us at the school. We'll explain later. What are you talking about? What bad shit? Oh, man. You're busted. What? A clue. I know where Eddie's hiding. Shouldn't have told him. Oh God, there they are. Oh fuck, man. Are you transporting a Jane Hopper? Yeah, what is this? I'll take her up your hands. Oh, man. Why is he there? Come on. We're here. It's the best solution. If you want to get there fast, just go to sleep. Welcome to Alaska. Oh, God. This is spring? Welcome to Alaska. <laughs> oh. You know, I kind of wanted to move to Alaska for some reason. 
I don't know if I want to anymore. <laughs> this ain't gonna go smoothly for Hopper. No way. Shit does not happen that easy. Ah, uh, man, they checked the chains. It worked. Holy shit. Oh my god. Dude, I told you, Hopper's a beast. How the hell can you stand with that type of shit? That's the same beat I always do. That's very weird. Figure that you and Jonathan are still going strong because you guys are going to college together and you're like one of those unstoppable power couples, but I'm looking for information on dark wizards. If someone's gonna write about that, it's gonna be these weirdos. What? Elvis, cloned by <laughs> Great you start. Victor Creel claims vengeful demon killed family. The murder that shocked a small community. Oh my god, imagine if this guy was actually framed. According to several insiders, Oh my god, it's the house! Ancient demon. Victor claimed this exorcism failed, but it angered this demon, which then murdered his family, removing their eyes. Victor was declared legally insane by the court, right? Well, what if this is why? I mean, it sounds pretty insane. It just didn't go public because the plea bargain, the, the records were sealed. This, this demon wasn't any old demon. It was Vecna. Holy <laughs> shit. Holy shit. Found it? Yeah, and not just Chrissy's file. Fred was seeing Miss Kelly too. The connection. You split up. Go around this way. Me and Sinclair, we keep going. You know, I said in season one I found Lucas annoying, but then he matured and chilled out. We located you guys to Lenora because I thought, you know, safe town, small, dull, far from Hawkins, nothing could happen here. Am I in trouble? For the roller skate thing? No, 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 no. We'll make that go away. Don't even, don't even worry about that. Nice. That's not why you're here. Hawkins is in danger. <laughs> You fought this evil before and you've won. It's like a virus. Each time it returns, it comes back stronger, smarter, deadlier. Freak. Oh, he brought him to Jim's cabin. You're sure Eddie was here? Yeah, I'm, I'm positive. Let's check around the back. Okay, Lucas. There are good people, brave friends, who have helped you fight your battle in the past. I don't have my powers. What if I told you there was a way, a way to bring them back? <laughs> but there are others who don't believe in you, who think you are the cause. I believe they're wrong. I believe you're the cure. No, oh, there is a very real possibility this program fails. And if it does, you will never see your friends again. I'm afraid your friends are all past traumas. I figured this shit out. We'll talk about it right after. She's infected too. What you've been through. It's a lot for anyone. They're not the only ones in danger. They're both gone. Well, at least they're gonna tell them. So they don't have to think she's like dead or something. Uh, this is where the season starts to like really lift off. This is when it's really getting good. Holy shit, I'm watching another episode. I said I was gonna only watch three today, I'm watching four. Holy shit. I have to go to the bathroom so bad, but right after that, we're gonna do a quick snap. Oh shit, it's still going. The clock.
Oh shit. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick, but we're gonna talk the hell out of this one. Well, not really, but... All right, now I'm going to keep this short because I just want to get to episode four. But I mentioned earlier during the episode where I was thinking, what if it's people who have dealt with psychological trauma? Because during, I, I don't really know how to describe it. I guess when he was doing his web thing and I was making a joke about how he was surfing the internet because it's a web. He was almost doing like a Charles Xavier type of thing to where he was monitoring people. But when I was listening to their conversations, it all seemed like a... Uh, I noticed abuse and ju it just felt like tense situations that could definitely leave a negative imprint on someone's psyche, like traumatic events. So it led me to believe I'm like, there's a connection. What if it is something psychological? What if it is past trauma? And it turns out to be the case because look at Fred with the car accident a year ago and then something to do with Chrissy's parents, potentially. Or, I, I mean, I made the guess that she was pregnant or something. I, I, I think that's just wrong. And she was just thrown up because she was sick. Or, well, scared. I guess that could make you puke. But I thought it had to do something with her parents, potentially. Maybe they died. And that left a scar on her or something. But then Max with Billy. And if you remember, as I said from the trailer, we saw Max levitating above Billy's grave. So, she's infected. And that kind of reinforced my thing. And then when I saw the notes that the... The counselor or whatever from the school left it was i saw the word like uh trauma and i was like oh damn i was right this has to do with trauma that's the connection so that is the potential for a lot of people to be infected i mean max included i don't think max will die because she's the main character and you just the, this isn't really the series to kill main characters so i think she'll be fine but She's infected, so maybe they can use that to their advantage. If she's able to see Vecna and then describe him and sort of work her way around to figuring out what this is. Because a lot of the times when you're there, you have to sort of draw. I mean, Will drew the mind flare, and that was their best way to get a representation or at least an understanding of the idea or the magnitude of what they're dealing with. And then some things to note, I shouldn't have underestimated Sam and uh, Lucas because Lucas led them to Hopper's cabin and I thought he was really going to bring him to the boathouse. And then Sam, I was shocked to see him there in the car. Like, I'm like, what? You're in on this? He's been so good throughout the series where he's like the second coming of Dr. Brenner, but he's chill. He's nice. He's actually looking out for you. And then I was like, oh, no, flip the script. He's actually bad. But no, he's he's still a great man. I'm like, yes, a generally good person. Holy shit, they're so rare. <laughs> but on the flip side, when we go over to Russia or whatnot with Hopper, and he's trying to act out his grand plan of getting free, getting smuggled to Alaska with a $40,000 ransom, you just know that shit ain't going to go smoothly. I have a terrible feeling about it, though. Not like Hopper's going to die, but I just... I want him to be in the picture. Like, I want him out of Russia. But the thing about it is that it wouldn't really feel like a big twist or uh, ordeal or significance if he was just in Russia for a few episodes. And they're like, oh, it was nothing. He went through the portal or got t teleported. And he spent some time, a few episodes in Russia, blah, blah, blah. And now he's back. Easy peasy, just like that, as uh, Bob would say. But we also have to think he spent... About a year, or, well, it hasn't been a year, kind of almost a year in their sort of, like, torture type of prison camp. So, he's been suffering, but still, I do want him back in the picture, but I don't think the way he arrives there is going to be all that smooth. And I want Eleven to see him. Because she actually called him her dad, which I thought was so sweet, and I feel so bad, and I just want them reunited, and I can't wait, and I hope that happens, but now she's gone with, uh... Dr. Owen, so we'll see how that all turns out. But then the last thing with Vecna before I wrap this up, because I want to go a little bit faster here, is now I'm a bit confused. I want to say it's a plot hole or they're retconning because there was no definitive answer. But when we think about season one, Eleven was the one who touched the Demogorgon and sort of opened the entire world to the upside down. She brought them in. She opened the portal. Even the Mind Flayer said she was the one responsible. So I don't know if it's a retcon with Vecna that they've been present in our world for longer or it's just something different because all the visions that the infected people are having, it's not in the upside down. The only thing is, is Vecna 
is here, but he's not here. But he's also giving visions like a magic, as they were saying, the dark wizard or whatnot. So that's what I'm a bit interested about. And why is he in that house? Because the Creel was the name, the guy who supposedly killed his family and they thought he was insane. He said there was like a demon in the house and in the attempt to get rid of it angered him. And as a result, he killed his family for sort of angering him. But why is he still in that house? Like, what is the significance of that house? Why is he in there? I don't understand that bit. As I said, imagine if it was something crazy, like he was like, oh, I'm number one or whatever. And he was actually like the first experiment and just, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this, man. I want a cool ass theory to just that I make up to come true, but I doubt it. I guess I could say I was right on the Max connection, but that was kind of easy because I mean, it was a given. We saw it in the trailer, her floating above Billy's grave. But even besides that, piecing together Fred and, uh, Clarissa what, what was that girl's name no Chrissy or Clarissa one of the two names D just making that connection of the psychological trauma because in media and shit whenever we have like a demonic type of figure we there is sometimes where they feed off of people's fear and feelings and inner struggles or whatever it's like weird so I guess they're kind of leaning into that with a uh, Vecna However, that makes sense, like why? But it's different too, because I don't understand what does he accomplish? If he kills these people, what does that gain him versus where the Mind Flayer was killing people so he can fuse into them to create an army to, to defeat Eleven and invade Hawkins in the world. But what's the point of killing people here unless he takes something in return? That's the unseen factor that I, I hope they answer. Well, they're going to have to. There has to be a reason for these killings. But yeah, hopefully we'll find out next episode because that's what I'm going to dive right into. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. And until then, I'll catch you folks in the next episode, episode four.